Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. So, you just graduated high school. What do you do? Where do you go? How the hell do you get there? Well, I'm hoping that I might be able to give you some tips that might help you figure it out. All right? So, stick around. Don't miss it. Okay? Cool. All right then. Moving on. Let's get to it, shall we? This topic today comes from one of my new IG followers. Uh, hi. I am so glad that you asked this question. So thanks. Right then, after high school, oh my God, how scary. Are you anxious? Are you nervous? Are you scared? Or do you feel like you've got it together and you got it followed and you're like, yeah, I, 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 let's do this. Well, either way, I'm hoping this will help you and perhaps maybe some of your parents as well. Feel free to share it with them. Okay, so we can go over the typical stuff that you hear your junior or senior year high school, but I'm gonna spare you. I'm gonna be talking about things that you can look at and ask yourself to help you figure out where it is you're going and how to get there, which I think I already said. So my first tip for you to think about is how do you define success? Not anybody else, not your teachers, not your parents, not your friends. What is that gonna look like to you? Is it gonna look like doing a job that you enjoy, making lots of money, being able to travel when you wanna travel? All right, so answer that question first and foremost, all right? The next thing that I would encourage you to ask yourself is what's my purpose? All right, this can help you get a clearer vision on what it is that you might be interested in doing. So for instance, if you feel like your purpose is helping people, then that opens a lot of opportunities to explore how that might look for you, okay? Now, if you are unsure, what I would suggest that you do is try to identify false beliefs about what you've been told, about who you are, what you can do, and what you're capable of, and all things. So you wanna remember that our parents, our teachers, even our friends, only get a snapshot of who we are. Sometimes what people see is not really in line with our reality. Because of that, we have to be very careful not to let other people define who we are and what's right for us because nobody else has got to live your life but you. So a false belief could be like you're not good enough or not smart enough or you don't have the drive or the ambition to do a thing, all right? Who told you that? Is that coming from you or somebody else? Either way, you gotta work through that so you can really connect with who you are, all right? So do that. So I'm gonna go for blue. Well, I don't know if it's really blue. It's more like a aqua or turquoise, you know, the blue-green spectrum, basically. Anyway, where was I? So another false belief that we often carry and learn is that there's a certain way to move through life. You know, you finish high school, you go to college, you get a job, you settle down, have a family, have kids, all the things. Which I have to say, it's completely ridiculous, all right? You don't have to follow a straight line. We don't all fit in a neat little nice box, okay? And you guys know, if you watch my other video, how I feel about boxes. So. Challenge that one for sure. Maybe you wanna travel a while before you figure things out. Maybe you gotta get out and explore life and what it has to offer before you can arrive at any kind of decision you're gonna feel comfortable with for a long time. Another one you gotta think about is that whatever you choose, it doesn't have to be your forever choice, all right? You can do something temporarily until you figure it out. And that's more than okay, because when you're doing things that are just temporary, you're exploring and you're opening yourself up to discovering new things about yourself, things you might like or don't like, all right? You're not gonna know unless you try it. Okay, so that's fine too. It's okay for you not to know if you're 18, 19, 20, 21. You really don't get to know yourself until you have life experiences outside of high school, okay? So you might discover that you really don't like the stuff that you liked when you were 15, 16, 17. You also might discover that you were told what to like or how to be. So cut yourself some slack, all right? Be patient with yourself as you explore things. Which brings me to my next point, that life is not a race. It can be more like a leisurely stroll. You'll get there when you get there. It's not a big deal. And when you get there, if you take your time, you might discover a lot of strengths that you didn't know you had. Build character on that stroll. If you're racing, you might miss some skills that you would have picked up along the way had you taken your time. So I'm saying, okay, yeah, this is pretty blue. Um, blue, da da dee da 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 dee da 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 dee da 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 I got them all uneven, but whatever, I don't care. So what are your thoughts so far? Have I said anything that resonates with you? Hmm? Did I get your noggin juices flowing? That sounds gross. Let me know, I wanna hear from you, okay? All right then, moving on. So something else to consider. If you do choose to go down the path that is laid out for you based on societal expectations or your parent expectations, realize that once you arrive there, you might feel regret and resentment because you didn't decide what you were gonna do. And nobody wants that. So if you were told all your life that you need to be a lawyer or a doctor or a surgeon, which is 
also a doctor. And you do all the things and you get there and you're like, wait a minute, this isn't me. I don't like it. Oh, that can create a whole set of problems. But it doesn't mean that you can't change it, which is something else that's very important to consider. If you do decide to go to college, there is nothing to say that you have to do that thing. Just because you go to school to be an accountant doesn't mean you gotta be an accountant. All right, you might discover that you hate it and that's totally fine. And you just gotta challenge anybody that tries to shame you or tell you anything different, okay? I've got some more for you, okay? So don't go anywhere. I just wanna say hi to all my new followers on IG and I'm really excited to get to know all of you. I'm glad that this is reaching people. So if you're enjoying this content and you like it, then like it so other beautiful people like yourselves can find it easier, okay? Also, because I said so. I'm blue, ba da dee da da da. Now, this part is for parents, but if you're a student, don't go anywhere because it's good to know this stuff, all right? Plus, it might help you to review it before you share it with your parents, okay? So, don't go anywhere. All right, so parents, yes, you need to calm the F down, okay? Just a little bit, like bring down earth, all right? Nagging, pushing, demanding your kids to figure it out is not gonna help your relationship and it's not gonna help them get anywhere any faster. And even if it does, they might be unhappy and miserable and resentful like I said it before. So stop doing that. And it's really easy to fall into that trap. I know because I've done it before. I try to catch myself and change it because I gotta let my kid figure out who she is on her own and be there when she needs me and to know that she has my support and that I believe in her. Just calm down. That's what I'm saying. And all we can do is do our best to equip them with life skills, okay? So that's something else to think about going back to you graduates or seniors in high school. Whatever you do, whatever you decide, you gotta have life skills. So let's say you do decide to go to college right out of high school. You get in a year later and you're just like, man, I don't like this. I think I need to take some time off. How are you gonna pay your bills? What's that gonna look like? Educate yourself on finances, for instance. These things are important, but take your time. Like I said, ask for help when you need help. If you're not sure how to go about things, otherwise you might get really sad and blue. And you don't want that. I'm blue, blah, 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 blah. I think it's pretty. What do you guys think? Now something else that might seem completely obvious, but sometimes we don't think about it is identifying what we are good at, what we enjoy, which kind of goes back to passion and purpose, but it's a little different because you can have passion and purpose for something and not be good at it and really, really have to work hard to like do the thing. Yeah. So what are you good at? And give yourself credit for that and consider, okay, well, if I'm good at this thing, then what could that look like for me in terms of a career? And sometimes we're good at things that we don't like, but that's okay too, because life isn't going to be all about work. At least it, it doesn't need to be anyway. So you can do something that you're really good at and be efficient at it. And that might leave you room and headspace to explore other things that really bring you joy. There's nothing to say that you can't explore those things and just have a job because being able to do that and having that balance will probably help Help you get through the job better because you have that outlet. Something else to think about is to think outside of the box when it comes to what we like doing. So let's say that, for instance, you really dig music. You got a band, you like to jam out, all the things. Well, the likelihood that you will be like famous and rich or whatever might be slim, but it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be successful with it. But again, that goes back to how do you define success? Would success be for you being rich and famous or would it be that you're doing something that you love it? and you enjoy and that you're making a living at. I mean, there's a lot of things that musicians can do while they continue to pursue their passions. Playing local gigs, weddings, bar mitzvahs, birthday parties. You know, you might find working in a music store or maybe the marketing side of it satisfies you while you do your thing, jamming out. So really explore your options and you can take into consideration what other people might have to share with you, but it doesn't mean you have to take that route, all right? It just might help you get your wheels going and find your own way. Okay. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Almost there, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. So I got this new eyeliner. We'll see how this goes too. Trying all kinds of new things. Very exciting. Pushing my limits. So if there's anything that I can impart to you that might help you on your journey is really just focus on finding yourself, okay? Outside of what society says, your parents say, your friends, all the things, you know, you're the only one that's gotta live with you, okay? I mean, until you live with someone else, but you know what I mean, okay? Give yourself permission to explore, experiment, and to fail because we're all gonna fail a time or two, but we learn from it and we become stronger. It builds character, okay? This reminds me of that chick from Star Trek. I don't know if this is how her makeup was or not. What was her name? Aurora? Aurora? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna do the lashes now. I'm gonna try to impart a bit more to you while I do this. This should be interesting. 
this is already a hot mess. So something else that can help you figure things out, volunteering. I know it might not sound like very much fun, but you really can open up a lot of doors for yourself volunteering. And it doesn't have to be necessarily in the traditional sense, like feeding the homeless, for instance. Frick, I'm already screwing this up. It could be volunteering some time to help out at an office. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Okay, I think I got it, did I get it? Are you sticking? Stick, why are you not sticking? Speaking of sticking, yeah, try new things until something sticks, okay? Do that. There are definitely a lot of trade schools to think about. Whose idea was this anyway? What kind of sadistic person came up with this nonsense? Does it say 30 seconds? I'm not gonna give up. I'm trying, okay? Turn away from the fan, maybe that might help. Okay, is it done? Did I do it? No. How do you guys do this? I'm gonna call this kind of a win, I think. Did I do it? Right, back to what I was saying before I had this crisis. Trade schools, yes. You can do a trade school, explore different things, just go and kind of visit and learn about the program, just like you can do with colleges. I know I myself tried a trade school. <laughs> didn't go very well, didn't stick with it, but I learned kind of sort of how to do my nails. You know, taking little odd jobs here and there while you figure it out is also not uncommon. So like dog walking, babysitting, cleaning. This is an ordeal. I really think that's what they meant to name these eyelashes. Not Ardell, it was ordeal, but someone had an accent and they were like, we're gonna call it Ardell. But really it's an ordeal. It's a huge ordeal. I think I did it. Did I do it? No, this one's sticking up. All right, no. I'm just gonna try again. So yes, odd jobs or something else to consider while you're trying to figure stuff out. You can also do like some freelance stuff. Like if you're good at social media, for instance, you could do that. I don't think you need a degree for that unless that's changed. Certainly need a degree to put on eyelashes. Oh man, this is exhausting. Sometimes I don't know when to give up, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You learn a lot, insisting on failing over and over again till maybe one day you get it. And if not, maybe you just have fun trying. I don't know. There goes my dog barking. So I like how those makeup artists are like just bing. Oh, look at me, my eyes are so beautiful. Like really? Really? So whatever it is you decide to do, the most important thing I believe is that it's your decision, nobody else's. And it's not made out of pressure, ultimatums or nagging or threats. And if that's something you're dealing with, you know what I'm gonna say. Okay, now, and just because you try something and fail doesn't make you a failure, okay? There is success in failing because you tried something and you learned something and you grow from it, like I've been saying. So just keep that in mind. All right, I forgot blush, here we go. All right, so if you are not already following me on Instagram, then what are you doing? Do it. All right. And if you feel like you need peer support and you're in that transition phase after high school or maybe you're a senior in high school, join us on Discord. We've got a lot of peer support there that could help you navigate, you know, what you're going through. And if at any time you have questions for me or one of the other counselors at Venus Springs, please let us know. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. I don't feel like it's sticking on my lid. Is it supposed to stick on the lid or on the lashes? I don't know. I just don't. Why are my eyes always red? I promise I'm not high. There's certainly no way I would be able to do this if that were the case. So I guess that's it. I'm kind of underwhelmed with this whole look. All right, yeah. Follow, subscribe, all the things. All right, and until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. You can go your own way.